One usually thinks of a church spire as being part of a church, but this belfry at Brookland, Kent has been built apart from it. Brookland Church dates from the 13th century, and the strange octagonal belfry is composed of ricks which occurred at Dungeness in 1552. Another ecclesiastical freak is the Ball Tower of West Wickham Church. Tradition has it that in the early 18th century, members of the Hell Fire Club, a queer order founded by Sir Francis Dashwood, were in the habit of meeting in the Ball Tower on wild stormy nights amidst the howling of the elements. Evidently social climbers, they entered through this flap, and once inside they were greeted by a hideously attired baboon, who seemingly took the chair at the meetings. Sounds rather like a nightmare, doesn't it? This may not look like a chemist's shop, but it's actually a Zulu medicine market. The native has no regard for the white man's remedies, and his own medicine, or muti as it's called, consists of roots, berries, and parts of animals and reptiles. To look at this odd collection is enough to make one ill for a start. The medicine man is prescribing a skull, but the dusky lady evidently prefers to go on suffering in silence. Just a little on the palm, a good sniff, and all is well. Here's a sad story of whales that will make some people blubber. As happened recently off the coast of Scotland, dozens of these huge mammals have been washed ashore near Cape Town. Caught in a swift current, they were carried into shallow water off the Cape coast and soon found themselves completely on the rocks. And when a whale gets on the rocks, it's no small matter. The beachcombers see to that. Whale bone is found in the pellet and spermaceti is another name for the whale oil. What about this for a washing day deluxe? To this fair car owner, a streamline is just the thing to go with a clothesline when it comes to a question of drying clothes quickly. That's why she makes a beeline with her clothesline for the open road, where, after a brisk run, the smalls and um, uh, other things are left high and dry. Her address? Well, most people in Thanet must know where she's hanging out.